Hey, I'm Mark, and this homestead here is where I'm lucky enough to call home. I live here with my partner Alice and two dogs, Gigi and Kaya. We came to Portugal in 2021 to find a homestead, pursuing a dream of ours of becoming more self-sufficient and connecting us back with nature. In February 2022, we found our perfect property in the beautiful Sao Mamad Natural Park in Alentejo. After one year on a homestead experiencing one of the hottest summers and wettest winters on record, we've learned a hell of a lot, but we're learning more every day. Follow us as we navigate life on our Quinta, doing many of these things for the very first time and acquiring a bunch of new skills along the way. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel and Machete Lessons with Mark, only joking. So basically, I've always wanted a workshop, a space to be able to do things, especially in the winter and the cooler months where the days are a lot shorter. The initial plan was to get a local builder to do it, but unfortunately, local builders have quite a long waiting list and this winter is a time where I really wanted to get stuck into some different projects and part of that I need a space to do so. Sometimes you can be restricted by the daytime hours and the weather of course as well so having a space is really important to me. So over the course of the next few months what I'm going to try and do is convert this garage space into a workshop and also continue to be a storage space for us as well. First job is to obviously try and tidy up. And now to measure a few of the walls. Okay, so I initially bought these ages ago, November, <laughs> so 10 months ago. This was actually gonna be the floor for the shed, which we put down there, but I made a concrete base instead. So they've just been sat around. They're supposed to be waterproof plywood. I don't know if that's a thing, but it's supposed to be water resistant maybe, not waterproof, but the first one I pulled out, not rot, but it looks a little bit damp on the bottom, but the other one looks fine. So I guess it would help if I explained what I was using them for. So I'm actually going to use it for panelling on the wall so I can put stuff on it a lot easier. So it's not really a simple cut because the roof is actually sloped downwards. I forgot I broke one of these wooden stand thingies so I just had to do a quick fix on it before starting to use it.
Now time to see if it fits. And it didn't, so it needs to cut a little bit more off. So I just made a little hole for the plug, so I'm just seeing whether the plug actually fits in there. <laughs> I wonder if I can run and get the drill before this falls down. Because the beams of the garage are all slanted, what I did was use the straight edge to find out where the midpoint was between the two holes that I already drilled. Okay, so as you can tell, this is where we got to. Because the because the beams are actually trees, they're not uh, planed or anything. So as you can see, like it's, it's even though it's sort of touching the bottoms and some some of the top, it's just all over the place. So yeah, maybe it adds to the naturalness of this metal garage with uh, trees propping it up. Um, I, I don't know how I messed that up. That was it. That bit up there was a little bit harder to measure. I, I found, and maybe maybe the brickwork's going down. Still, don't know. I messed up there. Anyway, you don't really be able to see it there because I'm hoping to have 
shelves um, near, near the top anyway. Yeah, this is a good base to go on. It looks a bit, from where the wood's got a little bit damp at points, it's obviously discolored a little bit, I don't know whether to paint it. I suppose it's just gonna be holding tools and stuff, so probably no need to do that. Yeah, I think it'd be all right. So the next stage is to start marking out where I want everything, I guess. By this point, I was pretty hungry, so we decided to go out and get some lunch and also stop in a hardware store and pick up some supplies. Well, Todd. So I don't know where we got to with the last part of this video. We've got uh, these two walls so far. So obviously this is for storage, organization, keeping things tidy, which can only be a good thing for me because I've got a tendency to make a mess, as Alice always tells me. So I wanted to make a few different things. Uh, so obviously there's quite a lot of things for different tools. One of the things I wanted to make was an area for batteries. As you can tell, I made this really untidy cut here. So my plan is to build something over this. So all this little trick online where you put masking tape over the back of the battery thing and then mark out where the screws go and then you can put the masking tape on the wood and use that as a guide to mark out where the holes are gonna be. Uh, some little hinges somewhere, I can't find them anywhere, so I'm gonna have to do part of this and then come back to it, maybe.
Thanks to Lazgu for sending us this 3D laser level. It comes in this handy little case. You get two spare batteries, a attachment for the tripod, and obviously the laser level itself. I'm no expert on laser levels. In fact, this is the first one I've ever owned, but it seems pretty good quality. You can also attach it to a tripod. So as you can see, at the moment it's completely level. If I move it a little bit, so it's out, it will keep flashing. And you can move it within four degrees of where it is level and it will actually correct itself, as you can see it doing now. So one thing I always struggle with is getting things level. So this is definitely gonna help. Um, it's really, really clear inside which is good. Uh, so I'm gonna use that to mark out a few um, areas of where I'm gonna put things really. So thanks again to Lasgu for sending us this laser level. I'll put some links to buy in the description along with 10% uh, off discount codes as well. I love, the, I love these magnetic things, they really come in handy. Stuff like that I could probably hang hang down instead, perhaps. Hmm, plugging it in might help.
Okay, so it's kind of coming together now. When I made the cut, so I forgot to make the consideration that I actually needed to take a little bit off the smaller ones. So this is the box that's going to basically hold the extension leads and all the cables. Hey. Food's ready, so gotta go. So, just had some food, um, and I've just also cut these down slightly. So, the uh, the back, the cabinet, you could say, is gonna be slightly smaller, smaller than the door. It's probably better to be smaller than, slightly, slightly smaller than slightly bigger. Anyway, I'm just gonna put this together, um, and uh, there's some parts I need to get tomorrow, so I'll probably have to leave it after this, but, yeah. Okay, so this is in place now. So just need to get um, just need to get some hinges for this, and a little latch to keep the door from swinging open. Uh, I need to get a smaller extension lead as well, because well, the one I was going to use for this project is massive, which I thought I would need a massive one, but it doesn't. I didn't want to make it so big. It doesn't really fit in there too well. I mean, I could go in there. But yeah, I prefer to have it a little bit tidier. So maybe one with maybe like five or six lugs instead of eight. I'm not sure why I thought eight would be fine. But yeah, I get in there. Uh, and you still need to do this area. I was going to put the saws and stuff here. Yeah, I've still got a lot to do with this in the garage. But I think it's just going to be something that I'm going to sort of keep adding to over time and tidy things up and find new tools. I suppose I can add stuff to it, but yeah, I just 
uh, this garage drives me crazy because it's just uh, a mess. Even my organized mess isn't that organized. So yeah, I think this is going to be a good uh, storage space. Just harvested another melon. Learned from uh, the last video that you all said the vine needs to be all dry, which this one is. Still a bit green in areas. Got a couple of comments last time I ate a melon, so I won't I won't break too much off this time. Someone said it was a monster. <laughs> nice and sweet. It's like melon, is it? Honeydew melon. Come here and try some, Alison. Yeah. No. Another bit now. What do you think, my love? Beautiful. From our own garden. None of the honeydew, honeydew melons you planted last year came up at all, did they? Oh, honeydew. Honeydew. Better go on with some work now. Yeah, so I went and got some hinges and stuff, so I'm going to finish this little project in here. I wanted to get some other things, but when I start a project, I always end up coming up with new ideas and stuff and add, add into it, but I've got other things to do as well, so I think I'm going to do this little bit and then I'll come back to it with the other stuff once I've managed to get all the materials and things. So this is where we got to yesterday. I managed to put the box on the, on the wall. We also put up the, um, the saws and everything. Okay, I bought hinges. They're supposed to go on the inside of the door and it's not on the inside of the door. I think we can make it work though. Perfect? No, but nothing I ever do is perfect. I like it though. I think it's cool. We've got this um, fit four batteries on top, which is good. So it's good storage space. You did get some smaller extension leads. So I couldn't find any that I could actually hang up on the wall though. So I might have to utilize this little thing that they use to hang things up in the supermarkets.
Time to try and tidy up the wires. I'm really impressed by that. Uh, simple, but does the job. Can fit, put some battery storage up here. Probably gonna uh, put another shelf in at some point, but yeah, for now, I think this will this will do. And yeah, I got a, I've made this little tray at the bottom just to put some more batteries. I've got the batteries for the laser level. So um, actually, I'll put them put the, I'll put them in now. I knew I wanted to a USB for something, so um, yeah, let's get a USB adapter. What do you think of my new thing? <laughs> yeah, it looks really good. This is cool. So what happens here? Open up. Spotted a design flaw in that. I can't get this battery in, but that's a UK plug, that one, so I'll probably re replace that eventually. And then Very nice. can turn, turn it off. Or keep it on. And it's all in one place and then I want to build something here to hang all the power tools on. Slowly tidying up the garage. You're not that this organised in the house. Nah, I can't be this organised all the time, can you? So we've still got so much more to do with this project and I'll update you in one of the next few videos. I'm getting on with the next stage of it now and I've got plenty more things to show you as well. Thanks so much for watching, I really really appreciate it. Please do subscribe if you haven't already and feel free to head over to our Instagram for more regular updates. Thanks and I'll catch you next week. Trying to get the angles and the camera vibrated away from me. Oh, watch. Um, d d d d d d d d um, take two.